trying to convince myself to go out in this heat. If you don't get yo ass outside. Also, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I'm at the cafe, it's called With. That is a cafe downstairs and then they also have like a working space on the second floor. And then there's another floor up here, which they use for like all kinds of things, rent it out for events, yoga classes, all kinds of, this place is so dang dope. Can you believe I have this entire room to myself? Yeah, I don't think I've gotten a chance to show this room on my channel yet. I know I've shown like the roof. Also, this is a farmhouse from Shirakawago, which is that place that's like super famous for all of the beautiful old style houses with those grass roofs. This was actually transported here from there, I think like 70 years ago or something like that. <sighs> this place is goals, this place is dreams. This place is actually exactly everything that I would like to create, which is why I just had to get the monthly subscription. I'm not here as much as I would like to have been, but I've been really busy, but yeah. they have this like monthly plan that if you do get the monthly plan you can work upstairs in this room that i'm in right now which has absolutely no people in it whatsoever so far every single time i've been here there's been no people so like that's some cheap uh office rent if you really think about it i think i was taking pictures of the roof for like 30 minutes no lie most beautiful thing i've ever seen this place is super dope to me because this is something that i actually wanted to create on my own so like seeing my idea in real life is so beneficial to your success. So many people ask me like how I'm able to do some of the things that I'm able to do and I promise like the biggest advice I can possibly give you is put yourself in those environments whether you're ready or not doesn't matter so if you want to be a yoga instructor you need to be taking yoga classes if you want to get into real estate you need to be staying at different real estate properties you know what I mean just put yourself in those situations game changing when it came time to renovate the property in Kyoto that I just bought, like I was ready to go already. One of the reasons why I was able to renovate this house so quickly and get going was because I had already been staying in so many different ryokans and Airbnbs and hotels that like were kind of similar to the stuff that I wanted. So I had, y'all, I had so many notes. I don't care what topic it is, I'm the queen of field notebooks. I take notes on everything. I slid them a PDF of everything I was expecting down to the doorknobs. I've always wanted to open up a cafe, but I wanted it to be a work cafe, just like this one, an old traditional style Japanese house. I like to see like how they renovated the place, things they have, the lighting, the number of outlets, how many people are coming in, every- y'all, I'm- like, if you're serious about something, just go observe how someone else is doing it. Another thing you can do if you're serious? Actually, no. Another thing you have to do is start a website. I cannot tell you how many businesses or people have told me that they started something, but they don't even have a website for it. I'm just like, this is not the year for that. Like, maybe 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 2023 and on, you're gonna need a website. If you just don't have the motivation, maybe you don't like technology, it's scary, you're not very creative, you might want to check out Squarespace. Space. Also, I would like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Welcome to this amazing all-in-one platform that you can use to create a website, a store, a blog, or even a podcast. They have tons of useful features like the ability to connect your social media accounts to display your posts. Again, if you're not tech savvy, they have these beautiful templates to choose from and amazing analytics to help you track to see just how your site is doing. If you're interested, go to squarespace.com and sign up for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash sundaylove. You can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you again Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Like seriously, if there's any big advice I can give you is to throw yourself in the situation of the places that you want to be. Like you can't buy lobster at McDonald's. You gotta go. <laughs> 
under the sea. You gotta go where you need to be. That alone has been so helpful for me. Not to mention you actually get the chance to meet people that can help you in that area. Like the reason why also that I was able to renovate this house in Kyoto is because I networked with people who had places that I had stayed at before. So the company that's doing my property management, I've actually stayed at a bunch of their places in Kyoto before. And when I reached out to them, they're like, hey, I seen you stayed at a couple of our places. I'm like, yeah. And I hit up so many different Airbnb owners in Kyoto to get advice about the laws and regulations and stuff like that. And they were so helpful because they knew me as a customer. You gotta put yourself in the right situations and you definitely will meet the right people. It's crazy how many people will help you. Like so many people are really willing to help. If you're in the right places at the right time in the right situation, asking the right questions. That was a rant. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work. But yeah, today is a uh, work day. I thought I'd just come here and work because number one, you're like forced to. I have nothing else to do. Like you, you're only sitting here. There, there's nowhere to go. There's no anime to watch. There's no cats to pet. There's no degus begging for attention. So yeah, I'm stuck here. So well worth it. Because every single time I've been in this gigantic, beautiful room, nobody's been here. That's basically like renting an office, a private office. Like, bro, that looks like this. And it comes with coffee. Anyways. I'm just not as hot with glasses. So I was experimenting and there's a bunch of tomatoes outside that I kind of just let grow wild. I put them anywhere. Definitely didn't get as big of a harvest, but there was still a lot of tomatoes. So today I'm gonna harvest the wild ones. Scared of spiders though. Do you have any spiders on you? You're a weed. Looks all right. Not as pretty. This is the only orange cherry tomato plant that I have, and of course it's one of the wild ones. I didn't realize, I thought this was one of the red ones, but I accidentally planted my precious orange one. It's growing though, it's just difficult to reach. I hear a bee. Time to go get it, dude. Almost every window in this entire house is custom made. It makes literally no sense. There are a reason for standard sizes, you know? It, just why? Why would you? So basically, this thing doesn't fit in any window. I ended up putting it in here next to Douglas in the studio, but I really wanted it in the living room or the kitchen. So there's like a gap right here. Ugh. However, it does work very well. I am shocked. I have another one of these downstairs, and this one's way better. Sorry if it's noisy, I have every AC that I possibly can on blasting. Like, how are you sweating before you even leave? Anyways, I'm um, getting ready to go meet my friends for lunch. I'm gonna go meet Lily and the one that just got married. But yeah, I'm making this little bag of a whole bunch of cat food and cat treats that I can't use anymore. Duchess, my cat has an allergy. She has a very serious allergy and she can't eat a lot of food. So I ended up having like a lot of leftover stuff that she absolutely cannot eat, that she's allergic to. So Lily has this love interest that has been the highlight of my week this week. Basically, Lily and Layla are both allergic to cats, but there's a stray cat outside of their apartment. It is so funny. Like I've been following their stories and they're like, there he is again. It's the cutest cat with a mustache. And I'm just like, that's so rare. Also, Lily just happens to be one of those people 
people that is like not good with cats. It's hilarious. You know people that like pet them completely wrong, stroking against the grain. I've never met anyone who is worse around cats than her, but she's so sweet. She's like all interested in the cat. She's trying to help them. She asked me if she could have some uh, Duchess treats. Duchess loves these from America. So yeah, I'm gonna give her some treats and some of this old food that Duchess can't eat cutest thing ever. I am so excited for her. It's like the best type of love interest. Like, I don't know how to love you, but I want to. Ooh, there's actually way more food than I thought. Freaking Duchess, man, I swear. Her whole food was just like trial and error. But yeah, we're also going to Pacific drive through drive-in. I'm driving to get brunch, and then I have to be back here for work. These are not cheap. You get just a few. This is for Mr. Mustache. If it's too much, I can take some stuff home. I love how you have a whole love story. I've been like dying for your stories. It's so cute. Oh my, I'm gonna need you to appreciate. If my child is not this excited to eat, they're not eating. I was just saying, I'm not having it. Yes, I got the shredded pork shrimp plate. It's too hot for anything fried. And the Poke Bowl, which I've never tried. Oh, girl. I'm sorry, I've been sweating all I biked here because the train made no sense. <laughs> Try another. Look what I got. Dude, are we all taking baths tonight? In my tiny, really depressing bathtub? Ooh, it feels like a soap. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> okay, I can't do this voice. <laughs> Come on, Squidward. You're the green one. You gotta be great. It's just random. I just put them in randomly. So the first one was actually just worked. Yeah, it just worked. This is pineapple. Oh, this is definitely it. <gasps> oh my god, I love this scene when he's I'm like, right. I love that one. It's yeah. not that way. I didn't know they're gonna be that cool. I thought they're gonna just be like Wait, normal did you stuff. Look at the link I said. Or, no, <laughs> sorry, I didn't. I just like SpongeBob at Lush. I was like, oh. I hardcore Googled it. <laughs> no, I did not. I didn't look it up. <laughs> Oh, we got double. So, this one gets a little oily because. Hold on. A little bit. Oh, so, oh, I love the color. This is um like a body butter. Like, you, you just like rub it on your skin. And I actually used to always buy Lush. I used to buy this all the time. Oh, this is shit. Oh, yep. can we get all of these? Oh, that's you. why he wrapped it in this because it gets oily. Like you'll ruin it. So he and he said try to like and leave it somewhere that's not too hot. Like, like mild, like something that you would want to rub yeah. on your body. Okay, these are actually and just one more. A lot better than I. I'm glad I opened that one first. Because <laughs> you're like that one's disappointing. No, because that one was dope, but like I would have loved to know this too. So this oh! is a bath bomb, and he said. Okay. Basically, when you put this in the bath, I think his like underwear color shows up. <gasps> I don't know. If that's what They're white or blue. White and blue. Um, How do I remember his underwear? Underwear? Creep. Scene. I know. Yeah, creep. Squidward had a bath bomb yeah. of his face. That is sold out everywhere. What? <laughs> no, he's not. Yes. And there was a hamburger one that comes apart, and that one's really cool. And that one was sold out. Like that one was like they said that that was the most popular. Oh, you can do it if you want. <laughs>
exist the fair.